Have you ever wondered how you can help people in war zones from your comfortable home? While it may seem like a daunting task, there are actually many practical ways to extend your support and make a tangible difference. Here are 10 effective methods that can help individuals in war-torn areas from afar. Firstly, consider donating to reputable aid organizations. By carrying out a bit of research, you can find well-established organizations such as the International Red Cross, Doctors Without Borders, or the United Nations Refugee Agency that are dedicated to providing humanitarian aid and support to individuals in war zones. Secondly, raising awareness is a powerful tool. Utilize your social media, blogs, or other platforms to educate others about the conflict, the plight of civilians, and the urgent need for international support. Remember, education and awareness often lead to empathy and action. Thirdly, support refugee resettlement programs. By volunteering with or donating to organizations that assist in the resettlement and integration of refugees in your community, you can provide a safe haven for those fleeing conflict. Fourthly, advocate for policy change. Write letters to your elected officials, join campaigns, and support organizations that push for peaceful resolutions to conflicts and for the protection of human rights in war zones. Fifthly, educate yourself. Stay informed about the geopolitical context of the conflict, the humanitarian situation on the ground, and the specific needs of affected populations. By understanding the complexities of the situation, you can guide your efforts to help more effectively. Sixthly, organize fundraisers and events. Host events, fundraisers, or charity drives in your community to raise funds for humanitarian aid in war zones. Collaborating with local organizations or partners can maximize the impact of these efforts. Seventhly, provide practical support. Consider donating essential items such as clothing, food, medical supplies, or hygiene products to organizations that are working on the ground to support those affected by conflict. Eighthly, support local peace-building initiatives. Seek out grassroots organizations and initiatives that are working towards peace, reconciliation, and community resilience in war-affected areas. Your support can help promote long-term stability and healing. Ninthly, volunteer remotely. There are opportunities to volunteer remotely for organizations that support war-affected communities. You could provide online counseling, language translation services, or administrative support. Lastly, show solidarity and compassion. Expressing support and solidarity for the individuals and communities affected by conflict through messages of empathy, solidarity, and compassion can make a difference in someone's life. In conclusion, by taking these 10 steps, each one of us can play a part in alleviating the suffering of people in war zones and supporting efforts to promote peace, justice, and resilience in these challenging environments. Remember, every effort counts, and together we can make a difference.